All right, so today I figured I would show you all of my smartphones and smartphone parts, aside from one of my Galaxy S5s and my shattered 5S on iOS 10.2 that I got a long time ago, because I can't find those. Um, I already did this in a live stream not too long ago, but that live stream was like an hour long, so I figured I'd do it again, but I know that this video will not take as long um, to go through as my live stream did. So, yeah. Anyways, without further ado, let's get started. Alright, so first, let's start off with my smartphone parts. So, over here, I have a few back covers, including one to a Galaxy S4, one to a HTC Wildfire S, one to a Samsung Admire, and, and one to some old LG phone. I don't even know why I have this, I'm just gonna throw it away, so... That scared her. <laughs> Oops. This is to the old Blackberry Storm that I disassembled to see how the button screen works. Um, so I, I saved this button module, um, which contains the rear camera, um, rear microphone, flash unit, and what is that? I don't even know what that... Oh, that's a headphone jack. Um, and it has, obviously, this button part, and then the part that the screen kind of just sits on to where... It, it does stuff. I don't really know. And on the back, as you can see, it has the motherboard. So I figured I would save both of those because obviously both of those work. Um, but yeah. All right. So next up, we have some iPhones. Now, here I have three 5Ss. This one is my old 16 gigabyte iPhone 5S on my iCloud um, that essentially went into a boot loop while I was trying to replace the screen, which sucks and it never stopped. So, yeah, it's a motherboard issue, and it's just demolished now, so have it for parts. Now, you may be wondering, dude, they don't have LCDs. What parts can you save? They don't even have the battery. Well, look, there are speakers, there are cameras, there are flash units, there are ribbon cables, there are buttons, there are housings, there are there's just so many things, antennas, you know, like, there's a lot of things you can save from these iPhones. Even the little screws, if you need, if you need screws, if you, like, lose them, um, then, voila, I have a parts iPhone, and there you go. Or the little brackets that go over the battery, or the screen cables and whatnot. Like, there's a lot of things you can save from these. So, here's a 16 gigabyte iPhone 5S, um, always iCloud locked. And then, once again, here's my 16 gigabyte 5S in my iCloud. And once more, here's a 16 gigabyte Near Mint iPhone 5S that I accidentally cracked um, a little while back while trying to take the screen off. And, yeah, it has, like, a really, really, really good condition housing. So, yeah, that's nice. I guess. It's water damaged, and the button does not work. I have a feeling that's because there's something up with the button. I don't really know, honestly, you know? Um, but yeah. Got that. The screen does, uh, the screen has never worked, by the way. Over here, we have an iPhone 4, 16 gigabytes. No, this is an 8 gigabyte, I think. And, um, yeah, it's iCloud locked, bad screen and everything, but still a lot of parts that I could get off of that. Here's a 4S, um, 16 gigabyte that was from Target and shattered back, and I took the screen off to use as a test screen, which I'll get into in a bit. But, yeah, this still has the mid-frame and everything, so, yeah. And here is a... Another iPhone 4S, this one's a parts one as well, and it's missing the screen, but it also has a lot of things in, on the inside. Here's some Galaxy S4 guts, and yeah. Um, now, this is where I also got this, because I used to have a Galaxy S4 that was completely demolished, pretty much. Um, so, when I got a working S4... I just parted out the old one. And I'm actually not going to take any of this out, but anyways, um, we had, we got the home button and uh, menu and back button sensors module thingy. I don't know. Um, we have the charging port, the bottom speaker, the actual home button. Well, not the actual home button, but the thing you actually see, I guess you could say. I got the motherboard in here, 
and yeah, I got antennas and whatnot. I saved a good amount of things from that phone. But yeah, anyways, here is the iPhone 4 and 4S test screen. Um, now, what's cool about the iPhone 4 and the 4S is that um, the screen from the iPhone 4 will work on the 4S, and the screen from the 4S will work on an iPhone 4. At least I think so. I've tried it out with the 4S screen on an iPhone 4, and it works, so, I mean, yeah. Um, but here it is. I keep it in here, and it's a test screen in case I get an iPhone that doesn't have a screen, and I want to test it. Um, I wrote it down right here, too. And essentially, I super glued these connectors like this. You can see that one's lifted because I had to do that, and yeah. Um, but they set down perfectly onto the motherboard, and the screen fully works. So, yeah. That would be kind of cool to make something like this, too, to where it protects it. And it does. Just sets in right there, and then I have a little thing to where I can lift it out and whatnot and yeah now finally moving on into here we have iphone 4s parts in bags such as the uh the speaker for an iphone 4s i think yeah for the iphone 4s i have the speaker with the screws i have the charging port and the charging port bracket all in one i have the screen screws um the screws that are used to hold down the screen onto the device from the inside, obviously. And then I have another charging port bracket from the iPhone 4 with the screws. So, yeah. Next up, I have this iPhone 5C or 5S uh, metal backplate that goes behind the screen. So, yeah. Put that to the side. Then I have an iPhone 6 uh, metal backplate that goes behind the screen. And then right here I have a pretty much mint iPhone 6 housing, except for a nick up here. That's all there is on this housing. Um, it has working buttons, a working camera, working ribbon cables and everything like that, antennas, it has the charging port, and yeah, has all the screen stuff, except I need to put some screws in here. Um, but yeah, other than that, it's a really, really good example of a iPhone 6 housing. So, yeah, keeping that in case I get a really, really bad condition iPhone 6 or like a motherboard for one. So, yeah. Next up, a brand new iPhone 6S charging port, an iPhone 6 speaker, iPhone 5S um, ringer or earpiece. There we go. Another iPhone 5S earpiece, 5C or 5S, honestly. Uh, this was, this is the same, actually, I think. Something. I don't really know what these go to anymore. I just kind of pick from here when I need something. And, yeah. Then I have a working camera assembly for, I believe, an iPhone 5S or 5C. I have a working home button, except it will not work with Touch ID if I put it on a different iPhone. I need to get rid of this because this is demolished. I don't even know why I have it in here, but this is an iPhone 4 camera. There's a 5C button right there. There's a iPhone 5S camera right there. There's an iPhone 6 button right there. This thing right here. I looking on looking at the camera. Oh yeah, this is this is to I believe an iPhone 5S and this is a little piece that goes around the camera. Um, to keep it in place, the front-facing camera. Anyway, oh, no, this is to the iPhone 5C. Uh, this is an iPhone 5C home button. And then here's the actual home button down there. And then I don't know why I have this. This needs to go, too. <laughs> this broken touch ID with no cable. I don't know. Okay, so over here I have an iPhone 3GS motherboard um, cover thing. I can't even remember now. I got some more over here. This one's to an iPhone 4. This one covers the screen connectors. This one's to a 4S. Covers the screen connectors. Um, I have a motherboard cover for an iPhone 4S right there. Water damaged. With a water damaged sticker. Um, I have... This, this is to an iPhone 6. Covers the screen connectors. This one is to an iPhone... I don't remember, actually. I believe that's to an iPhone 6 or 6S. 
Here we got a 5S or 5C screen cable cover. 5S or 5C screen cover, once again. Yet another one. An iPhone 6 SIM card tray. The earpiece cover for an iPhone 5S. We got the back that holds the button in place for an iPhone 6. An iPhone 6 battery connector. Another one. 5S SIM card tray. Uh, there's another speaker cover. Earpiece cover. Um, and then here's a iPhone 5S SIM tray again. And I got whatever that goes to. And then some more nonsense down there. So yeah, I got a lot of little parts I've saved for phones in case I need them. And it's always handy to do this if you like collecting and repairing phones. Because then you can just... You don't even have to order anything if you lose it, honestly. It's nice. And finally for the batteries. Ooh. Here is an iPhone 4S battery. Here's an iPhone 5S and 5C battery. Or the SE battery as well, because that's the same as... Well, I believe. Um, here's an iPhone 4S battery. Uh, an iPhone 4 battery. Aftermarket. This is an iPhone 4S battery, and this is an iPhone 5S battery. So yeah, that's about it for all the parts I have. Now let's get into the phones. All right, so let's start off with this iPhone 4. This is a, uh, no, this is an 8 gigabyte iPhone 4 on iOS 7.1.2. Here is an HTC phone I honestly do not remember, but it's a really, really cool phone. And as you can see, it not only slides out like that, but it also slides up like a computer, which is awesome. I think someone's calling me. Yeah, someone's calling me. Be right back. Dang, I was gonna answer that too, on camera. That sucks. I should call him back, but I'm not gonna. Anyways, here's a Moto X. Um, tiny crack right there. This is my main phone right now. Putting this to the side. Um, once again, it's a really cool phone. I need a new back cover because all the clips are broken for it. At least most of them. Here's a Galaxy S5 with a messed up touch screen and this was my first attempt at using a hot or no a heat gun to get a screen off and it was half su successful i did not break the amoled but i burned the amoled with the heat gun and i also ruined the touch screen by ripping the cable for the touch screen so that sucks here's a bad amoled motorola atrix 2 here's a galaxy nexus out of battery. Here is an LG Optimus V. I already know that's out of battery. Here's a Samsung Galaxy something. Don't remember. iPhone 5 on iOS 9.3.2 or no, 9.2 something. I don't remember. 9.2.1. There we go. Um, and it's in really, really good condition. I keep it in this case because it keeps it safe, obviously. But yeah, 16 gigabyte, my iCloud, CTE Max XL. I love this phone a lot. Here's the smallest smartphone I've ever seen. This may have battery. I don't think it does, though. Yeah, no, it doesn't. Here's a Nexus S. Out of battery. Samsung Galaxy S7 Active on Android 7. Got it for $30, so that's cool. Here's a Samsung Galaxy Lite. Oh my god. Out of battery. iPhone 3GS. Um, this one's my more beat up one with a messed up screen. Um, 16 gigabytes on iOS 4. And it has a crap load of games on it, but yeah. Here, it's dead right now, by the way. Um, here's a, Sam, uh, not Samsung, uh, HTC Droid Incredible C. Here's an HTC Rhyme. Oh, wait, oh, wait, nope, there we go. I was about to say it's out of battery. 
Speaking of this, I actually bought a 99 cent HTC Rhyme that's not working, but comes with an OtterBox case. It's in mint condition, same color as this, and by the pictures, there's the tip of a very crappy charger stuck in the charging port. It's not even stuck, it's just like in there, like someone plugged the charger in it and then bent it and it broke off. That's it. But they haven't tried to get it out. <laughs> like, alright. I bought it though. Here's a Samsung Galaxy S Continuum. Dead. I guarantee you. Yep. LG Stylo 3 on track phone. Dead. Samsung Galaxy Exhibit. One of the two. Nokia 710 Lumia. Oh wow, this still has battery. Alright. That's nice. LG G3. The $10 LG G3 in mint condition. And all that's wrong with this phone is that the cellular service does not work. Wi-Fi and everything else works, but service does not. So, whatever. Basically mint, oh, um, not LG, uh, what is this, Blackberry Storm. Another iPhone 3G on iOS 4.0.2. I can tell because the my 4.0.2 one is missing the little metal piece for the ringer. So, yeah. Shattered um, Lumia, I don't remember what this is, honestly. I don't really care. Cracked front and back, um, iPhone 4, 8 gigabyte on 7.0 point, no, 7.1.2. Here's this thing, it's demolished. ZTE Majesty Pro, dead. Samsung Galaxy S7, whoop. Oh wow, go away, no one cares. Samsung Galaxy S7, one of my favorite phones in my collection, it's amazing, got it from Jake Carroll YT, it's actually my last video where I unboxed these phones, I believe, I don't honestly remember, because it's been so long, and I haven't been able to do a lot of videos recently, because I've had a crap ton of homework since I came off, or since I came back from break, so, yeah, if you want, make sure to go check out his video. I may or may not leave a link down in the description below. It just depends on if I remember or not. 16 gigabyte iPhone 5S that just needs a new screen, um, but it's on my iCloud, and I'm working on a video for it right now. I bought this for $10, with FMI off, by the way. Samsung Galaxy S4. LG F7, or something like that. I don't remember. Um, here's this girly freaking thing. I don't know. Samsung Galaxy Y, dead. I already know that. Droid Razor HD. iPhone 6, 16 gigabytes. In really, really good condition, other than it has pencil marks on it for some reason. There we go. That's better. Really good condition. Never been taken apart. Never had a battery replacement or anything. It's awesome. Love it. Mint Samsung Galaxy S3 with a screen protector. Oh, wow, that has battery. Wow, all right. Another Galaxy S3, except this time it's shattered. Still works. Probably dead. Yep, dead. Still has a good AMOLED screen, though. Here's this old Nokia. I don't remember what this is, but it was like one of my first videos that I reviewed this phone. So, yeah. Um, Samsung Galaxy S6 Edge Plus. LG K3, Samsung Galaxy S2 Epic, doesn't have battery in it, uh, my other white iPhone 3G, no separation in the housing, at least, barely anything, um, pretty good condition, all the buttons work totally fine, except for, no, I think this one is a bit iffy. Or not, I don't remember. Maybe that's another one. I think that is another one, actually. I think that one works totally fine. Here's one of the two uh, 
HTC G1s I have. These are the very first Android phones. Other than the prototype, which never came out, but yeah. Here's this one. This one may have battery. I doubt it, though. Nothing. Whatever this thing is, dead. I already know that. Here's the other Galaxy exhibit. Nothing. iPhone 2G. 8 gigabyte on iOS 3.1.3. Here's the Sam or not Samsung LG Optimus something. I don't remember, but yeah, I got this in the trade as well. Here's another iPhone 3G, I think. Or is this no, this is my 3GS. Um my 8 gigabyte 3GS on 6.1.3, my only working 3GS. Here's my other 3GS, except it doesn't work, and I did a thing, like removing the LCD so you can see all the insides, and I also removed the covers as well. So yeah, it's pretty cool. Here's this ZTE, I, oh yeah, the ZTE Concord 2 um, works, but it's dead right now. The LCD works totally fine, by the way, if you're wondering. Here's a 16 gigabyte iCloud, well, jailbroken um, iPhone 4 with an iCloud account on it, but I removed it with the jailbreak. Still in the system, though, I believe, so I cannot reset it. Here is my Galaxy J3 Luna Pro. Here is my Samsung Galaxy S5, another one of my S5s, my third one. Is this one on yet? I can't tell. No. This is my basically mint iPhone 3G. HTC Wildfire S. Don't think it has a battery in it. Palm phone with a bad LCD. This thing. Don't know what it is. Here's this. ZTE that doesn't have a battery. Here is this iPhone 4 um, on 7.1.2. It's a 16 gigabyte model iPhone 4 that's jailbroken. Here are these. This one doesn't matter. This one's kind of cool. I don't remember what this is. Oh, this is the LG Rumor Touch. Here's the Samsung Bright Side. A shattered Samsung Galaxy S Fascinate that I did a drop test on. Here's an iPhone 5C, 16 gigabyte on 10.3.3. ZTE Blade Vantage. Got it for five dollars at Walmart. Here is a Samsung Rep. Doesn't have a battery in it. LG, I don't remember what this is, honestly. But, yeah. Works totally fine. Samsung Dart. Did a couple videos on this. Or at least one. I have to have... I, I have one coming out soon. I don't know when. I just have to do the voiceover for it, so... Yep. Ooh, almost through that. This is an... Uh, Mint iPhone 4S on 7.0.4. Here's my other 4S on 9.3.5 with a replaced charging port, which is nice because now it doesn't turn itself back on when I turn it off. But, yeah. 16 gigabytes, and this one is too. Here is an uh, Kyocera Hydro. That's it. Just I think this is an original Hydro, so that's kind of cool. Is this one on? Yeah, this one's on. Alright, so I did that one. I did this one. Yep. Here is a demolished Galaxy Prevail. Here's an almost demolished, but working, Galaxy Core Prime. Here is a Samsung Galaxy S1. Uh, what is this? The Vibrant. 
here is a Motorola Photon with a just non-existing charging port, as you can see. Here is an, what is this, an HTC, I don't, dang, I, I don't remember what this is, but it's a cool phone. So, here you go. It's, <laughs> it had a rough time, okay, that, that's, that's, this is not the original color at all. That used to be gray. Freaking, wow, that's a lot of smoking. Um, Galaxy Admire, or not Galaxy, just Samsung Admire. This is not the Galaxy version of the Admire. And I think I'm just about done. So here's a Samsung Intercept. Dead, because I never charged it. And yeah, last but not least, I'm recording on my Samsung Galaxy S9 Plus, which is a 64 gigabyte version on Sprint. And that sucks because my carrier is T-Mobile. So, yeah. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please make sure to leave a like and comment down below which one of these phones is your favorite out of all the ones I've shown. Because why not? And, yeah. Please make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on post notifications so you don't miss any of this awesome content. But, yeah. That's about it for me. So... Hope you enjoyed, and I hope to see you in the next one. Peace out.